But Bucky, the only thing I've ever wanted to do was learn about global and local variables. That's what everyone always tells me, you know, since they're from, uh, you know, England or Australia, whatever the heck the accent was. So, to all the people who asked that, let me go ahead and teach it to you right now. So, there are two main types of variables or scopes of variables that we're going to learn in this tutorial. One global, two local. What's the difference between them? Well, don't let the words global and local confuse you because I'm going to explain it real quick. This is the rule for using variables in your program. Whenever you make a variable like int tuna outside and above all of your functions, any of your functions are allowed to use that variable. So main can use tuna just like a normal variable. Print something can use tuna just like normal. So when it's above your functions, any function can use it. Now, whenever you make it inside a function, only the function that it's created inside can use it. So for example, if print something wanted to use tuna, it wouldn't be allowed to. Okay, so when it's inside a function, only that function can use it. When it's outside, any function can use it. Now, just so it sticks in your brain, uh, let me go ahead and make like a two second example. So enough of the tuna, let's be like warts. So we'll set warts to how many warts do I have? 23, and that's only on my forehead, believe it or not, true story. 23 big ones, size of baseballs. All right, so remember I told you that anytime you make it outside, any function can use it, so let's do it right now. So printf, I have, it's an integer, so it's percent D, warts. And might as well kick that to a new line. And for this, we're going to put warts, looking good. And also, I got rid of the print something. So right now, if we just ran this, um, print something would never be called. And that's, remember that I told you that whenever you want to use the function, um, put the name, parentheses, and then a semicolon. And that pretty much goes down to here and calls whatever's in there. Well, whenever I say calls, it's just a technical term for using the function. So, you know, just uh, some little programming lingo. So right now I'm going to call print something and we'll see if that can use words as well. All right, so I have 23 words, I have 23 words. It was able to be used from each of these functions. So what happens if we accidentally made it right in here? Well, what would happen is it would say, okay, I am main and this warts variable belongs to me and me alone. No one else can use it. So when print something tries to use warts right here, and check this out. If we look, it said, um, undeclared event, and, ooh, blah, blah, blah. I can't even freaking talk. Pretty much it's saying, hey, dude, we don't have a warts variable and there's none out here to use, so you can't use it. And again, one last time, whenever a variable is declared out here, it's called a global variable. And whenever it's created inside a function, it's called a local variable, local to that function. So now you know about global and local variables. Congratulations. I'll see you later.